Welcome to Fayetteville, Arkansas, in a place where legends have long stood for excellence. Names like Broyles, Holtz, McFadden, Jones, and Johnson. And when they call the Hogs, it is a rite of passage. Today, a couple of SEC teams get ready to square off in what ought to be an old-fashioned slobber knocker. As we'll see, the Auburn Tigers taking on the Arkansas Razorbacks. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. And the Razorbacks will get us started with the opening kickoff. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. So Auburn's offense will start this game off. And as the game evolves into an aerial circus, sometimes you find a superstar running back like this guy. And when you got this guy, you ride this guy. You give him the ball, you run the football, you find ways to continue to feed him because he just gets stronger and better as the game goes on. Well, they're trying to run the football there, just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. Back to throw, it's Thorne. It's complete to the left. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Well, when you're running the curl route against zone coverage as a QB, you know you've got to get the receiver the ball quickly. This quarterback has a cannon for an arm. He showed you on that last throw, and the offense picks up the first down. They've got a first and 10 at the 34. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Shakes off the defender. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. The give to the back. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. This guy's a game changer at the running back position, man. And don't you just feel like you have to be if you're going to be toting the rock at Auburn? Bo Jackson obviously won a Heisman Trophy. Cadillac Williams, Ronnie Brown on the same team at the same time. And then Tank Bigsby here in recent years, too. Physical runners, but they also had speed. They were the total package, and I think this guy fits right into that category. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Well, a nice gainer on that running back screen. Now, how about the offensive line getting downfield and getting blocks to really help out the back, find some space to go to work? Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. Grabbed behind the line, it's Lambert Smith. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Zone coverage means everybody's looking at the quarterback. So now when I'm a wide receiver, I got to make sure I know I fit in the hole between these zones. I know where they're dropping to, and I know where I need to get to. Great job by the wide receiver finding that hole and the quarterback throwing a strike. Looking to pass. It's Thorne. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After the misfire, now on second down. He'll keep it himself. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. He's got an open man. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. 
We knew coming in that they wanted to push the ball down the field and they waste no time getting at it. And I love that, man. I love being aggressive early, setting a tone, sending a message to my team. Listen, we're going to attack down the field. You better be ready for it. This offense comes out, gets the big completion way down the middle of the field. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. These fans raising the volume on second and goal. They want to run this quarterback. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Quarterbacks generally, guys, we know, they're not as big and not as physical runners as running backs, so it is going to be trickier for them to break tackles. I like the idea of getting the design quarterback run game going, but moving forward, let's see if we can get him out to the perimeter. You can't hear yourself think on third and goal. The give. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Man, it has been a long drive offensively. I just feel like you got to pay this off and be aggressive. You're down close. Punch it in for a touchdown here, Pollock. Yeah, and inside the three-yard line, I think I might try to finish this off with a touchdown. I ate up a ton of clock, wore these guys out. Now they'd have to go the length of the field if I missed. Thought he had it and couldn't get it through the uprights. He missed it. After the miss, no change in the score. You can't miss opportunities like that. You're playing on the road in a hostile environment. You're trying to seize momentum right out of the gate. You get a nice drive to start the game, and then you miss the field goal. You don't get any points to show for that. And if they're going to win this one, guys, they've got to take advantage of those types of opportunities. He'll do it himself. And after the tackle, we are headed to the end of the first quarter. It's been a defensive battle through the first period, and the stats tell that tale. Both sides trying to find a little rhythm and efficiency and move the ball some here as we start the second quarter. To the air, it's Green. Finds his target down the middle. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. He was not fooled on that one. You know, a lot of times you want to buy space, and you throw this route really when it's off coverage, but you could tell the cornerback was up, ready to come, pounce on that screen, and get the tackle for a loss. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Remember some of the years when the Hogs spent a lot of time in the Wildcat just running it? You don't have to do that with this guy at quarterback. And it just makes you less predictable, right? You got a running back in there, you know you're not going to throw it very much, but when they do have the ability to push the ball down the field and get some guys out of the box, it makes this offense even more exciting. He'll pull it on the read. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, they're trying to go option, but the linebacker shows his open field tackling ability and also his recognition. He expected the quarterback to keep it, went after him, was able to make the tackle for loss. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short gain. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, going up top. Pulls it in. Off he goes. Oh, he thought for sure he was going to be able to house that one, but a huge pickup all the way down to the 12. 
I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. To throw, it's green. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Operating in the red zone here on second down. This time on target. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. On third and short, they'll try to convert through the air. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Razorbacks! And this quarterback really does a great job of seeing the defense and seeing what kind of coverage they're in. And I think when this offense goes empty and they spread the defense out, it just makes it so much more simple for the QB to see what the defense is doing pre-snap and then post-snap. You could tell he's playing in a great rhythm right now because he's seeing the field, and these empty sets are really helping him out. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. So it's an 80-yard drive, and the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. Running back searching for a hole. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Man, he tried to do all he could. He broke one tackle, but my goodness, guys were hitting him left and right in the backfield. This is a staple for any good defensive coordinator. They want their guys to swarm to the football, to gang tackle. If one guy misses, another one's there. No doubt. And the staple for the offensive coordinator or the offensive line coach is block those guys. Don't watch them tackle our guys. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. Well, when you're throwing these out routes, guys, it's location, location, location. As a QB, you've got to put that out in front of your guy so he can make the catch. If you put that behind him, that might be getting picked. Nice job there by the QB. Dropping back, it's Thorne. They're setting up the screen. Bulls his way forward. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. Nice job by the running back catching the football and understanding where the first down marker was. I got to go get that first down. He did a nice job of it. It's a first down. They'll stop the clock to reset the chains. Offense up tempo. He's looking to throw it. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback. And down he goes. They'll tell you that somebody's always going to pop open, but it didn't happen in time before they got the sack. No, it did not. And you know what? I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember zone defense. They didn't really have an answer. They weren't ready to get rid of the football. Quarterback hesitated. I got to him and got him on the ground. Might be a good call later on in the game. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. He's looking to throw. Pulls it in. It's Lewis. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Trying to find his man on first down. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down.
Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He's looking for an open man on second down. Makes the catch. It's Burton. We've got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Fires to the big fella. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. Third and short, and I guess the only thing they really took out of play in the shotgun was the quarterback sneak. Yeah, and that's kind of what I like to do, Reese. I mean, third and inches, I, I want to run the quarterback sneak, run the football, but this team fully comfortable throwing the football, and you see why. Easy pitch, easy catch, first down. And that will go backwards. A negative play in that defense on high alert that time. Quick timeout from the offense to save precious seconds. Looking to throw, it's Thorne. Tackled almost immediately. They're well short of the first down. And these quarterbacks have to really trust their wide receivers that they're going to be disciplined and run to the right route when they're throwing that ball to the outside like that because those corners are sitting there on the inside, and the worst thing that could happen is to miss inside and that cornerback get going the other direction. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. He caught it! And he will score! Touchdown, Auburn! Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. You trailed a little bit in the first half, stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Bangs it through for an extra point. So here comes the kickoff after the touchdown, and the last thing you need right before the half is to give up a big return. From inside the 10, here he comes. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. They'll come out and take a knee, and that should send us to halftime. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. A first half that saw a little bit of everything there in Fayetteville. It's been very evenly played through two quarters. Both teams have been physical. Both teams have battled there in the trenches. Neither has been perfect but they're both right there in this game. And it's kind of the calm before the storm. Each side sort of licking their wounds right now, but expect another fight in a phone booth in this second half. And with that, let's hear another hog call and send it back to the guys in Razorback Stadium. Just about set here in the second half as Auburn about to kick it off. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Palmer? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do. We're just going to do it better. But then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense. We're going to find out here. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down marker. From the gun, the running back has it. Defense not budging. He's still able to get 2 to the 29. 
And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Now the play fake. Throws to the tight end. Wide open downfield. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. The Razorbacks in the hurry up. Quarterback on the keeper. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. And this option attack can lull you to sleep sometimes. I mean, just so many things they can do off of it, and you just got to play responsibility, responsibility, and you got to get them on the ground and make tackles. And that was a good job limiting the damage on that play with a nice tackle. Went to the running game on first down, now second down. Looking for space. It's Jackson. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. You wonder now on offense, have they found something in the run game? Finally, it's been tough for them to get the run game going, but they picked up a nice gain on that last one. Let's see if they go back to it. And the Razorbacks come to the line with a new set of downs. Back to pass, it's Green. Snags it over the middle. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. This is a receiver who's so dangerous once he has the football in his hands. That's a simple slant pass, but after he catches it, he's able to work in the middle of the field, finds the open green, and get the first down. The Razorbacks will try to punch it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Trying to get in the end zone, and the ball is loose. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. Man, you're trying to break the tie. You've got this golden opportunity in the red zone here in the second half, but you've got to hold on to the football, and that's a play that is going to haunt him for a long time to come. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pinned in their own end. Feet in the end zone, looking to fire. Stands in and takes the hit. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets them 30-plus. Uh, the O-line gets an attaboy for that play. How about the time they gave their quarterback? Beautiful pocket. They allowed him to survey the field, find his open guy. This offensive line, they are gelling early. Takes the handoff. It's Hunter. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. Small gain, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him onto the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Single back formation, and they give it to him. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. 
I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Grabbed in the middle, it's Lewis. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give them a first down. We've reached the end of the third quarter, and we have a potential classic on our hands, all tied up as we take a peek at the stats. These two teams about to find out what they're made of as we open the fourth all tied up. Looking downfield, it's Thorne. He makes the connection. Tackled immediately after the catch. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle, it's Lewis. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. They pick up the first down on the drag route, and good job by the receiver knowing it was man coverage. If he's looking, he's booking. He gave his quarterback the eyes right away that says, hey, I'm not stopping. Put it out in front of me. I'm getting this first down. Snap's going to come from the 23 on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Got it in the middle. It's Burton. Great job by the quarterback thrown against zone coverage. You cannot telegraph where you're throwing the football. You cannot eyeball wide receivers. So great job by the quarterback using his eyes, not staring down his guy, and then throwing him open. Auburn doing business in the red zone. On the run, it's Hunter. Made a little something out of that run. He picked up a couple down to the 14. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. They're going to try to throw for it on third down. Finds him out of the backfield. He ended up going backwards on the play, and they will not convert that third down. They'd hope to get him in space, create running room, and there just wasn't anything there. Yeah, I love the third down aggressive, in-your-face defense, not giving you any room to run down the field. Great job by the defense. They saw the throw, the quick pass, reacted to it, got him on the ground for a loss. It's good. All field goals are not created equal, guys. Kicks in the fourth quarter to take the lead. They just seem to carry so much more weight. So give that young man credit for getting out there and knocking that thing through the uprights with all of the pressure, with all the eyeballs on him. He delivered. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. They'll throw it on first down. Let's it fly. Got his man downfield. And there was lots of space as he gets it to the 39-yard line. Man, if I'm a defense, I got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. And the Razorbacks want to pick up the tempo. Give to the back. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. We've reached a two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out.
Let's see what they've got on second down. Looking to throw, it's green. Zings it complete to the right. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. He knew exactly what they needed there, made the play, and got out of bounds to stop the clock. And you got to keep this turbo mode on, right? We got to keep going fast. The clock's running down. Fourth quarter, need a score. Great execution to get the first down. We need a lot more of this on this drive. The Razorbacks have it with a first and 10. He's going to pass. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Well, I know it hasn't been a tremendous day statistically for this quarterback, but his decision-making has been good enough to win this game. Hasn't thrown a lot of TDs so far, but when things aren't open, he throws it away like on that play right there. He's not putting his team in a bad spot, and that's why they still have a shot to walk out of here with a W. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. It's just so nice to have a QB under center nowadays in football. You can trust these guys. You put so much on their plate, and you tell them, go get positive yards when it's there. And a lot of these guys are such great athletes, they do it with ease. Here comes third and short from the 24, and this offense does not want to send out the field goal unit. A strike downfield. Gets it inside the five, down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. And that's a really good example of a quarterback and his intended target both being on the same page. The timing was almost perfect on that play. That's why they were able to convert the third down, now setting up first and goal. So the opportunity with a touchdown here to take a fourth quarter lead. And it's incomplete as he was trying to finish the drive with a score. And that's just a huge miss opportunity on offense. QB missed his guy wide open in the end zone. You might not get another clean look like that in the rest of this game. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Into the end zone. Touchdown, Arkansas. And they've moved out front here in the fourth. And some of these guys make it look so easy, but these are tight windows down here, man. There's not a lot of space on the field, and he drops back, knows exactly where he's going with the football, throws it in there, makes the play, and more importantly, now his team is in the lead in the fourth quarter. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. Fires to the middle. Got him downfield. And he's brought down after a huge completion. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. On target to the left. The offense gets a quick timeout. At this point, every second is precious. This quarterback has to stay calm, cool, and collected and drive his team down for a score late in the fourth. They're trying to get to him. Finds his man. It's Hunter. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. But I can throw it to them. I can try to create some space out wide, dump them the football, let them make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out of it. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. The offense is going to try again on another play. They'll just spike it on this one. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. 
to the air. It's Thorne. Unloads to the wideout. He's got an open man. Timeout is called by the offense. 16 seconds left in the game. Fans are bringing the noise on first and goal. He wants to throw. He's got it on the move. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short gain. Now second and goal and right in the teeth of this noise. He's looking to throw. Coming after him. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. Man, this late in the game, it's go time. I got to have a score. I'm not worried about downs. I'm going through my two-minute script. We know what's coming. We practice this all week. It's second down, incomplete pass, go to third down. If we need to go for it on fourth down, this offense just has to keep that high energy up and try to run these plays fast. They're going to throw it on third and goal. Looking for the score. And this one's going to be incomplete. He was trying to make the connection in the back corner of the end zone. And if you're the defense right now, you've given up some yards on this drive, but you've got a possession lead. You just need one more stop after that last incompletion setting up fourth down. Do you blitz? Do you try to speed up the QB? Let's find out and watch. From the gun. Snagged in the middle. It's Burton. Touchdown, Tigers! And inside a minute to go, and they've got the lead. Man, what a great job by this offense executing down the field, using all of the clock, being smart, getting the big score late, and I think that one should do it. 